Oh, rocking out the live in the car. Just gonna take you for a drive around the streets of Cairns. Don't know if you can see. Dash cam. Just gonna wait for people to jump on. Cracking Saturday here in far north Queensland. Just come out of an amazing, amazing training event, if you could call it that. We had a bit of fun today, but we also learned a lot. Um, from someone who carries the title of professional traveler, uh, for you guys who jump on, please ask the questions about what a professional traveler is. It's a pretty fucking cool job title, if you ask me. Matty Gray, how are you, superstar? Just taking for a drive around the streets of Cairns. Don't know if I need a blinker to go through there. All the one-way streets. Yeah, but I don't know if you noticed, like I say, the title of this, the title of this. Got some superstars jumping straight on here. Hitesh has jumped on there. Legend. The definition of rich. Definition of rich. You, you legends that have jumped on, I had a heap of interaction on the post really, really quick on this question. I know it's a set they are both, so even if you just jump on the recording, please interact below in some way. But I was thinking about this, I've been thinking about this, when I do, do go to a training event or I do talk to people who have success or who have like something that, that I might want in certain areas and like I say, the word rich usually is referred to as money. In my case, yeah, there's certain to a certain extent. But you think about it. People who have a rich life. A rich life. What is that? What is that? So many people have... Well, they come up with stuff when you talk about rich or money. Especially in the network marketing game. Or in anything really where you are. You're employing people or whatever. You're in it for the money. But to gain that rich life. I think that's key is to gain that rich life. And a rich life for me, I got put in the title, that has changed a lot. Um, because once upon a time it involved material things. Um, material things being, I wanted the car, mind you I got this car. Still paying off for this line, this is a Land Cruiser, I love this. But I wanted that, I wanted the fancy boat, the house, the apartment, all this stuff. So I was working my way towards what I defined as rich, I had shares, I had money in the bank, I was getting there, I was getting there. That was not making me happy at the time, and I'm going back. I'll probably go back two years, even longer when I really started asking questions of myself on this, you could call it a topic if you will. And when I started asking, like the questions I was asking, I was like, why doesn't this make me feel happy? Why am I not happy with these things that I'm getting I've always wanted this stuff. Mind you, the Land Cruiser here makes me happy. Really does. Little person in a big car, that's why I got it. No, but I started asking questions. It's like, why doesn't this make me happy anymore? I got this, so I thought I wanted this, and this was going to actually make me a bit a bit happier. It was all on my way to being rich. And I was building up that, that money in the bank and the share portfolio. Had a couple of properties, all that sort of thing. But I just had all these other things that I didn't understand at the time were the ones that were going to make me happy. I didn't understand it because I'd never had that before. I never had patience around people. I never felt comfortable around people. I never could communicate well with people. All these things that, at the end of the day, that I, I have found over the last 18 months or so are the things that actually make you happy. They're the things that actually give you that fulfillment or like help you I don't know, they put a smile on your face just at the times where you're just kicking back by yourself. And the more that I the more that I learn a lot of stuff about other people and what they're going through, what they've been through. And like I say, the training event today, Lou Hardy, professional traveler, brilliant, just awesome. Ex-army, 20 years. Live lived that life, which is like doing a thing, but now to turn around and be a professional traveler because she found when she started asking questions of what she really wanted in life, she's got the family. Is what makes a rich life. You do the things you love. And what are them things? A lot of people, they seem to forget what them things are. 
the goal is to be financially free, not have to worry about money. Hey, that's one of my goals too, Damo. Absolutely it is. It is. But there are so many different ways to go about that. And that's perfect timing to put in there. And this is the thing. Every person is different. Every person is different what they define as rich. You can even define as success either way. What I define in as rich is to be happy with it myself, to be able to do things that I like that make me feel good, but that entails having the people around me that I can be around and be happy with, and they would be happy with my company. And we would all be doing cool things together. And for me, like what I've found when I've gone really deep on this, and a big thing is like connecting with new people. And I keep connecting with new people every day. It involves traveling to meet people. I've been doing that a lot. I've been doing that a lot already. And it just so happens that I have a line with a company that allows me to do that easier while I still work on myself, while I still have that circle of friends that's growing and it's ever changing. But it all goes back to it. I go back to when I started asking questions. Why doesn't this stuff make me happy? Why doesn't why doesn't having the cars, the boats? I actually had that time to do what I wanted. I had choice. But then when I had the choice, I chose to stay safe. I cho- chose to stay secure in a job that I'd done for a long time that could earn me money, but it wasn't making me happy. So what's my point to this, guys? What's my point? I just wanted to put it out there that everyone's definition of rich success is totally different. But when people come to you and ask you questions, especially if it's with opportunity or something like that, don't be closed off to it because a lot of the time I, I will be talking to someone not to get them into my business but to see what they want in life because a great joy of mine I've found is seeing people happy. Seeing people change their lives, it doesn't matter what they're doing, or hearing about people, or watching people, like say a lot of people present and stuff, hear how they turn their life around by changing things up because they started to realize certain things weren't making them happy, but they made the choice to change. They ask the questions, they're like, well, why doesn't this make me happy? Why Why haven't I, why haven't I um, reached where I want to be with that, that sense of fulfillment? And it's simply because they don't, they aren't living the life they truly deeply wanted so how do you find that out you make change you, you look at what you used to enjoy that's a it's a cool thing to do ask yourself you're like well, what when, and this is for older people especially you younger ones like joshy if you're still in there i don't know you um you ask yourself what when you were younger what did you love doing or what did you dream of doing it's a simple question ask to a friend i had a call with yesterday and she's been going through a bit i won't mention her name on here she's very very successful very, very, she's smashing it. And I asked her the question, what do you like doing when you were younger? What what gave you that happiness? So caught up when we have families or like careers or anything like that and we forget about it and when we're truly not happy and we start asking questions, the simple questions you ask yourself, well, what used to make me happy? What used to give me that? Before I got on this career, before I went down this path, before... Before I, whatever it was, before I had that family, what made me happy? And you're going to find, you're going to find some simple answers. Then how do you turn that into having a rich life? If you've still got to make an income, find what you're passionate about. For me, oh, for me, it's like fishing. And I'm getting there, don't worry about that. But traveling and connecting with people and everything, that that's a big passion of mine right now. And that's something when I ask questions, but I had to do some work to be able to get to that place. I had to do a lot of personal work. And I, I enjoy that more now than ever without the big wage of the mines, without the two cars, without the two boats, without the properties. So I've nearly wiped all that and gone minimalistic, majorly. A lot of people won't do that shit. They'll keep attached to materialistic things. That's the thing. Simple things make people happy. Acting like an idiot. <laughs> That's funny, Joshy. I'm glad you're on here, brother. There's not many on here because it is a weekend, Saturday afternoon. But this is something that I was just thinking about today, really. Like I say, with some of the training, when you, I don't know if you guys are involved in any, any, not it doesn't have to be network marketing companies, any sales, any companies, any big companies have got trainings on a personal level, even teachers and that do it. And then when you get, you get people who, who are training you, they've got something that you want or you're going to learn something off them. It's really cool. So this stuff like this comes up for me and I just want to talk about it. And I stalled then, took off in second in the cruiser. 
But like I say, it just a lot of people forget because they've got so much going on they get clouded. But simple question, you start asking yourself why isn't something making you happy? The next question you ask is what can make me happy? What used to make me happy? You're going to find your answers really, really quick. You really are. In this crazy, crazy world we live in, but we're so clouded and we forget. you just got to take time to remember. And that's just a simple message. Simple message for you. And if you don't know what to do, where to turn, like I say, look to the, where the places you already work or the people you've got in your environment. Environment's huge with this. If you don't like it there, ask the questions. If you've got someone you trust there, ask the questions to them. It's like, I'm not feeling this or whatever. What can you, what can you help me with here? Or if you've got people or mentors or anything, ask them. You gotta reach out and ask. Because usually that's what the clouded stuff comes from is the fact that we're, we're too afraid to ask or we're too afraid of judgment. Or silly little things like that. Big lesson I learned, big lesson. I keep learning, you've always gotta reach up or reach out. Doesn't matter what it is and I'm just talking from a place now and you could, you could put it from a professional view of working or anything like that. Dude on a motorbike over there doing a burnout, that was interesting. <laughs> But I can go on about this, guys. I just wanted to raise a couple of questions. This is simple stuff. And something that I, like I say, it's, it's I continue to do. Things keep changing. My definition of rich keeps changing. My definition of success keeps changing. My goals keep changing. I know I'm heading in the right direction, but, and I know that I'm doing things that make me feel happy. Pretty fucking simple if you ask me. Took a bit to get here, but always got to do the work, so. If you don't know what to do, you don't know have anyone around you, you need guidance or you need guidance, just reach out. Send me an inbox. What am I doing now to make me happy? How did I come to these conclusions or how did I come to a place where I actually knew what made me happy or I could actually put it into practice again or I could take the steps? If you don't know, just ask. So yeah, flick me an inbox if you're watching a recording, comment below. Thank you everyone for being on. Short and sweet, simple stuff in there. I'll go to bed tonight because that makes me happy. Boring. Thanks, guys. See you later.